Today, I'm going to talk about the stern design. There are some considerations in designing the stern. The length overall may or may not be important. In Oregon, if we put motor on the boat, we have to register the boat. And one of the stern designs will extend the overall length of the boat. And it will cost you a few dollars more to register your boat. One of the two designs is more complicated. Want to assemble the boat as fast as I can. I also want to spend less time to build the, to make the boat. Design one has a pointed stern. Design two has a flat stern. I'm going to demonstrate how to fold the boat together and how to hold the stern together. With the pointed stern, I don't have the full line. Flat stern, I have to add two full lines. I have to add extra mounting mechanisms. That means extra work when building the boat. And this also translated to a little bit more cost and takes a little bit longer time to assemble it. The flat stern maybe a better design to create a mounting play where we can mount an outboard motor or trolling motor on it because the flat stern is slightly more rigid. Mm -hmm. 